Free Teat family, welcome in. We are getting into this super delicious baked catfish that I made. This recipe is very simple. The video is pretty short. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody that you would like to um, eat this with or, you know, make it for you. The shrimp recipe will be on my website. I didn't record for my YouTube, but I also have it on my Instagram at Breeze Heat. That will also be linked below on my website. So you're going to start by seasoning your catfish. Um... Generously, I did start with some Creole seasoning. I'll have all of these listed below. Season with your heart when it comes to this. I would say it's probably about half a tablespoon each um, for both sides. So, yeah. That is specifically Slap Your Mamas. Um, or you can use Tony Charest's Charest. Uh, they also work as well. Next, I went in with some Mrs. Dash, the original, and this has no salt, so feel free to season it on up. It ain't going to be over salty. It's just going to add a depth of flavor, and y'all already know the star of the show is some paprika. That's what's, what what's going to give y'all this like beautiful color that you've seen on that catfish. It's going to be irresistible. I'm trying to tell y'all it's going to be fine. But yeah, I then added a little bit of... Um, Freshly grinded pepper. If you want to do regular pepper, that will work as well. Make sure you get it on both sides. So go ahead and flip it over. Here you are. Season it all over again. Same seasonings. Um, Creole seasoning. Yeah. There we are. Shout out to my man for getting the good angles. We've been practicing his camera stuff out. And it seemed like it's going pretty well, you know. We seeing what works for us because it's hard being in the kitchen trying to record with a full-blown camera also having my phone out for instagram the ring light tripods look and a one-year-old and two dogs but the dogs they be outside when you cooking but the one-year-old is enough <laughs> he is enough but yeah line this in your pan i didn't like line it with any like olive oil or anything like that i just put it straight up into the pan if you want to put, like, some Pam on there so it don't stick. It won't stick either way. If that make you feel better, you know, about it not sticking, then go ahead. Y'all going to see me try to rearrange this. Because why would, y'all, why would they give me this big ass, ooh, this big old piece of fish? Excuse my language if there's any kids watching. This big old piece of fish with these other pieces. Like, this look like... Like, literally, y'all look at these pieces. Like, like they need to be for real be for real this piece is gigantic although you know i would love more gigantic pieces why would they not give them to me even anyway you're going to pop it into your oven on 400 for 10 minutes um and then in the last five minutes you're just going to place it on to broil and when you finish oh my bad place in there 400 for 15 minutes the next five minutes which makes it 20 minutes cook time total it'll look like this It'll be delicious. You don't have to flip it or anything. I already gave y'all the sauce to the dirty rice. Like I said, the shrimp recipe is on my website. Follow me. I love to see y'all try these. Thank you, y'all.